Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Bring you guys some very, very good news. And as you guys can tell by the title, Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. It's official. <laughs> I'm very happy that this fight is happening. It was scheduled for a purse bid today. It ended up not going to a purse bid. Instead, both sides, both Team Crawford and Team Porter, PBC and Top Rank, were able to come up with a deal to have this fight happen in November. Now before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, the fight is official. Um, multiple articles have been written about it now. Uh, this article right here, what you guys are looking at, is from ESPN. As you guys can tell by the headline, Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter strike deal for November 20 welterweight title bout over in Vegas. Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. So uh, PBC, or I, I should say Fox or Showtime is not involved with this at all. It's going to be ESPN only, ESPN Plus only. So only one pay-per-view provider. Uh back when top rank and pbc did business for let's say the tyson fury versus wilder fight that fight was a joint pay-per-view event with fox and espn in this case it's just going to be espn plus pay-per-view so um so yeah first i i would say first major pay-per-view event on for espn since the uh crawford amir khan fight which flopped big time. Nobody really bought that fight. But uh, I'm pretty sure more people would buy this fight. Terence Crawford versus Sean Porter. I'm not going to say it's going to sell big money. But it's definitely going to sell more than Crawford versus Amir Khan. That's for sure. So, so yeah. It's, oh, man. I, props, props to the sides. Both sides. Both Team Crawford and Porter. Team Porter for, for coming together and actually agreeing on something and to actually deliver this fight and bring us a, a, a very good fight. A lot of people, I see a lot of people hating on this fight saying that Terrence Crawford should be fighting this and that. And I'm like, brah, the dude got ordered to fight Sean Porter. He got ordered. So he has no choice but to fight Sean Porter if he wants to keep his WBO title. And it's a good, a very damn good fight. First major fight for Terrence Crawford in the welterweight division since I would say Jeff Horn. Uh, you know, Terence Crawford conquered and unified the uh, 140 pound after he defeated Julius Indong Indongo back in August of 2017. Since then, he hasn't really had a major major achievement um, other than the Jeff Horn fight where he won the title at, at 147. Um, but you know, he kind of just went on to fight guys like Khan, Cal Brook, Egidius Cavalias. I mean, don't get me wrong; these guys. Eggy was was a good fight, uh, but you know not many people really recognize how good Eddie, Eggy was. And Eggy recently just lost to uh, Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz. Uh, Jose Benavides Jr. was coming off uh, a leg injury where he got shot in the leg. You know, so it, it's it's the first major major fight for Crawford at 147 since Jeff Horn. A lot of people don't really rate Jeff Horn that high, but still, you know. It was a good. He he was coming off uh, the Pacquiao fight, um, but yeah, this is this is a good fight, man. It really is. I'm very happy it's happening. Sean Porter, big prop to Sean Porter, man. When everything's all said and done, when Sean Porter hangs up the gloves, he fought everybody. I mean, except for obviously Pacquiao and Mayweather, but he never got a chance to fight them. For at least for his generation of fighters in the welterweight division, he's fought everybody. If you look at his resume, go all the way down. Oh man, he, he's definitely been in there. He fought Devin Alexander, Pauli Malignaggi, Cal Brook, Adrian Broner, Keith Thurman, Andre Berto, Danny Garcia, Jordanis Ugas, Errol Spence. It, it, he, he's fought everybody. And now he's fighting Terrence Crawford. He actually, you know, he's fighting a fighter across the street. And it's happening. When obviously all thanks to the WBO also for, for actually ordering this fight, which led to the negotiations for this fight to happen this coming November. So I'm I'm just happy happy that this fight's happening, man. When I, when I saw when I was scrolling on Twitter earlier today, I was like, because I was at work, 
I was like, oh man, is this really legit? And it, it is. It's legit, man. It, it's happening. It's happening. November 20, 2021. I know there's a bunch of pay-per-views coming up with, um, you know, Lopez versus Combosos, Fury versus Wilder, Canelo versus Plant. And now this one. I know there's a bunch of pay-per-views, but um, I'm liking these pay-per-view fights at least. Except for the uh, Lopez Camboso. So that one, I don't know if that's worth pay-per-view, to be completely honest. But so far, in my opinion, you know, I'm, I'm willing to pay these other events. I wonder how much, though. That's the thing. I mean, I have ESPN Plus already, so um, there's no need for me to uh, to subscribe to ESPN Plus. Because it looks like you have to subscribe to ESPN Plus, and then you buy the pay-per-view. I know, it's ridiculous, but that's how they do it for the UFC. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.